Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a different type of video. So I am going to be doing a tier ranking video. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like where you rank different things on like these apps. By the way, I'm really sorry about all these ads, like I can't get rid of them. But this video is inspired by Seashell or... I don't know how you say this, but Seashell, um, and she made this video here. So I have three different tier lists up here, and they're all about Bloxburg, um, so let's get started. So the first one is all of the game passes, and the tiers are like S is the best, and then F is the worst. So the first game pass is Advanced Placing. I think this is kind of a no-brainer. This one has to be one of the best game passes. I don't think I could build without this because literally I made an account just to see what it was like without advanced placement and it is so hard. It's even things like you have to place pillars before walls and it honestly is so difficult so this is definitely a must have. And also if you guys want to use this as like which game pass you want to buy, like I guess you could use that. Basements honestly are kind of like, I bought it but never use it so I'm probably going to put it in F because I just never use this so yeah. I mean you could use it for like build hacks but I don't really use build hacks that much so yeah I'm just going to put it in F. Excellent employee. I probably would put it like around here, like I could put it up here but it's not like a knees like advanced placement. I think it's really helpful, honestly I bought it so long ago that I don't know what the difference is if you didn't have this. But yeah, I, I really like this, I know it does like make it faster to like get promoted and stuff but I don't even think that matters with like the new job update anymore. Okay so next is multiple floors and I'm gonna put this one in B just because like I use this a lot like I always build like two story houses but actually my main roleplay house right now is literally one, one floor so I don't know I guess you don't need this, I mean I build a lot and I probably, most of my builds are two stories or like more, but I don't think this is like really essential. Okay, Marvelous Mood. Now, I think a lot of you guys are probably gonna disagree with this one, but as someone who makes TikToks and YouTube videos, this one is such a lifesaver because I'm not constantly worrying about my moods and it just makes filming so much easier. So this is definitely a must have game pass for me. Large Plot, I think this is definitely gonna have to go in S. I bought so many, so many plots and I was actually shocked at how small like the regular plot is so this is definitely like a must have for me because I like building towns, I built so many towns and it's so impossible without this game pass. Okay, Transform Plus again a bit controversial but I'm probably going to put it in like somewhere between here, I'm going to put it in C. I think a lot of people use this because they build realistic builds and probably use a lot of like build hacks. I don't, so I just never use this. Honestly, I think it's also really overpriced, so I'm going to put it down one. I don't know, I feel like it's really expensive, so, and like, for the fact that I never use it, like, yeah. Okay, and the final one is premium. I think I'm going to put it in A. I don't really know much about what it does. I think it doubles your login, like, the amount you get for your login, and also, like, reduces your bills by, like, half. So I guess it's kind of helpful, but also I think that's it. So, I don't know, I feel like the price of it, I think it's like 400 Robux. Like, I feel like we could have a bit more for premium. Okay, so that's my tier list for the game passes. And next, we're going to do one for the, all the updates in 2023, I think this is. So, let's start off, I think these are in order actually. Um, so let's start off with the Valentine's update. I don't really remember what came with this update, I think we got some new items which are pretty cool, but honestly the Valentine's Day update for me isn't like that massive, like it's probably the worst event update in my opinion. I mean the furniture and food is cute, but I don't know, it just doesn't really have much like 
purpose for me. I'm going to put it in C only because like I would put it in B but with the rest of the updates that we had this year, honestly, like I'm going to put it in C. The next update was like the garden update. Honestly, for me, like I didn't really use this update that much. It has some new plants and stuff. Honestly, I'm gonna put it with a Valentine's update just because I didn't really use this update that much. So yeah, I can't see. Oh, I think this is the gym update. I'm gonna put it in A. I think the new gym is nice. I think it was definitely needed. The one thing that I hate about this update is how slow it is to level up in the athletic skill. And if you are like trying to build a gym, like I was trying to build a gym on my town and I couldn't because all of the like stuff was like you need to be a high level to get them. And I just think it's kind of annoying. I wish they made it easier to level up. Okay, the next update, I'm really confused. <laughs> I don't know what this update is. I'm looking at these ones and I think this was the beach update. The beach update came with the beach, the observatory, which was pretty cool. I think I'm going to put this on the same level with the gym. I actually really like some of the items that came with this one. I like the new beach, that was cool. Um, that's really all I have to say about that update. The next one was when Bloxy Burgers got destructed. I think I'm going to put this in C, or it's kind of in between here. It didn't really add much, but I think the live event was cool um, with everything that happened, so yeah. And then the new Bloxy Burger, I'm definitely going to put this in S tier. The new job was really cool. The new job system is really, really helpful. The I think I got 800k from this update. I just logged in and got so much money. It was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I really like this update. Okay, then the New Year's update, I'm going to put it probably in D. Um, honestly, like, the New Year's updates are a bit like, yeah, whatever. Like, it's an update. But like, I don't know, I feel like we could probably do without this. I mean, it has like the new map and stuff and I think that's cool. But I don't know, it's kind of just like, it's not that standout important to me. Next was the Christmas update. I'm going to put this in A. I think the new items that I, I love the Christmas updates. They're probably my most like the updates I'm looking the most forward to in Boxburg. But honestly, like the new items I was a bit disappointed with. I didn't really like them too much a lot of them weren't really Christmassy themed like I was hoping for it was a great update but I don't know I didn't really like love the new items next the family update I'm gonna put this in B I think I didn't really I wasn't really like playing Bloxburg at that time because if you guys play Bloxburg you probably go in and out of playing it a lot and I don't know this update for me was kind of just like another update you know it wasn't that special and then the halloween update i'm gonna put this in a i think the event was cool with the witch i like the halloween updates i can't remember what came like with the update in terms of like items but i don't know i always like the halloween updates so yeah and finally to finish it off we have a box with jobs tier list maker okay so the first one is the hair salon um, yeah, I don't know how to work this. I don't know if it's just because I'm really stupid or it's just really difficult to use. Like, I don't know, it just confuses me so much and I hate it. Bloxy Burger is definitely going to go in S and I don't know why it's lagging so much. But this job is really fun. It earns a lot of money um, and I really like it. It's probably one of my go-to jobs. The mechanic it's kind of in between here. I'm going to put it in here just because I don't have like a pure hatred for it like I do with the hair studio. But I feel like, I don't know, I don't use this like ever. So yeah. 
the ice cream. Honestly, personal opinion, I think I really like this one. I can't wait for it to get revamped because I want them to do so much more with it. But I don't know, it's a really fun job. I think it was the first job that I ever had in Bloxburg as well because, like, I'm a pretty high level on it. The fisherman job, I'm going to put this one in D just because, again, I don't understand it. It really confuses me and I don't know how you do it. Okay, wood cutter, like lumberjack, I think it's called. It's going to go and see, like, I never use it, like, it's just kind of that. I think it's cool, but also it's a bit annoying as well. The mines, again, I don't use it. I think I actually used to use it a lot, but also it's kind of annoying when you get to that, like, TNT. That's really annoying. Pizza delivery is going to go in S. My only, like, wish for this is they make the mopeds faster. Uh, and I know that's pretty, like, lazy, but I don't know, it also pays good money. So I feel like if they just made it a bit faster, then I would be rich. Pizza Baker, I think this is a pretty fun job. It's, I like, when they update it, I hope they make it a bit more like the Bloxy Burgers. But for now, I'm going to put it in C, just because I never use it. The supermarket job, again, I... This one, I have beef with this job because I it never works. I hate how far away the bags are when you have to go and stock up on the bags. And I don't know if that, that's just because I'm lazy, but yeah, I just hate it. The stalker, however, I do like this one more. Oh, there we go. I do like this one more. I think it's more fun, but also it does get quite boring. And then for the janitor, I think I'm going to put this in B. Honestly, pretty controversial. I love this job. It's really fun. I don't know. I used to make a lot of money, like this was the job I used to always do when I like first started. I went, I did this and then I moved on to this and honestly you do get quite a lot of money I guess. Well actually probably not but it's quite easy because all you have to do is go around and clean and like they're really close to each other so it's really easy. Guys there we go, I have ranked all of the game passes, all of the updates that we got in 2023 and also all of the jobs in Black so if you guys want me to do a part two on this um let me know if you guys have any video ideas that you want to see me do i'm planning on doing some build challenges maybe some work challenges so if you have any that you want to see let me know in the comments down below and yeah i really enjoyed making this video i really hope you enjoyed watching it and i'll see you all in the next one bye